Watch you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at seven ways to boot to advanced startup options inside windows 10 now this can help you fix a lot of computer problems now if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification button next to it to be notified when we upload new videos also option one here we're going to jump straight in to go to start settings and then click on update and security now if you're at the desktop you'll be able to do this hit recovery and then advanced startup on the right and restart now and this will take you to the advanced uh, startup options here so to fix uh, computer problems now if you can't get to the desktop don't worry i'll show you some other ways but here from here choose an option you can hit troubleshoot and this will give you options to fix a lot of computer problems restore your computer uh, image and also access to a command prompt and other good stuff there so let's go back to the desktop and i'll show you another way so option two, uh, if you're also at the desktop as well, what you can do here is click start and then restart your system and then hold the shift key down all the time. Don't let go of the shift key, just hold the shift key while you're restarting your computer and it will take you straight into choose an option where you can hit troubleshoot and then you can uh, hit advanced options from there or you can reset your PC, whatever you want to do from advanced options. So these are two useful ones which are useful uh, to fix computer problems. I'm going to go back to the desktop and I'll show you another one which is option three. Now all these options are going to be useful for different scenarios. So we're going to come down to the search box and type CMD which is for the command prompt. Click on command prompt and this will open up a command prompt box. And from here what we're going to do is type shutdown and we want to uh, type that out and then do space forward slash r space forward slash o so that's not a zero that's an o and what this is going to do is going to help us close down the system and reboot into our advanced options there so we can close this off and we can also close the command prompt box off and it will take roughly around about uh, five to seven seconds to reboot the system and it will go straight into there now this is also uh, useful if you want to run this from uh, another type of command prompt you can see we're in choose an option we can go to troubleshoot and we can then reset our pc or advanced options system restore we have access to all them goodies will help us fix our computer so let's go back again to our desktop from here i'm going to hit restart the computer and this is for option four. Now we're going to boot to a Windows disk here. Now this is if your system is not booting, you can still boot to a Windows disk or USB flash drive. Click next and hit repair your computer. And this will give you the option to go into troubleshoot and you will have the same advanced options for you. Okay, so if your PC is non-booting, you can still get to those options. This is option five. We're going to log out of our system so let me just quickly sign out here and you'll get the logon screen here so let me just click on here and once we click on here we'll have access to the power button from here so if you can't get to the, uh, the desktop and you're getting to this location you can still get to the actual uh, advanced options here by restarting and holding the shift key down and you will be able to get straight into there as you can see here there we go Go back to the desktop again, do option six. Now option six, if you hold the power button without shutting down the computer, it will shut the computer down. If you do that up to three times, you will get this option. Uh, or if you're getting a reboot loop, you will get recovery, which is C advanced repair options and straight away it'll allow you to get into it. So if you are having boot up issues like reboot loops after three attempts, it will automatically go to that advanced recovery there where you can get into there, okay? Now, option seven is back into the command prompt here. I'm going to type CMD down the bottom here. And this one is the same as the shutdown one, but this one will reboot straight away into there. So this is shutdown uh, space forward slash R and space forward slash O, space forward slash F, and then space forward slash uh, T, and in space zero zero okay and what that's going to do is take us straight into there without waiting okay so as soon as i click enter here 
it will automatically shut down and go straight into there like so. So you can use that command as well, which is very useful. And that's pretty much it. That's uh, seven ways to get into the advanced startup options so you can repair your computer problems or use system restore or any of those features that are in there to repair computers and they're very useful uh, to know okay anyway i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys have a great weekend and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.